So why aren't we having sex in our marriages? Well, there's a little known chemical in the brain, conveniently called PEA, or P, and it's responsible for the elation, the excitement, and the euphoria that you feel when you meet somebody that you are sexually interested in. It's a fantastic feeling. This chemical is scourging through your blood vessels. You are so happy. That's how powerful this little chemical is. Well, what happens after two years, that chemical diminishes, as does sexual frequency. That's just about the time you might get married or may have conflict in your relationship. And that is why communication is key to great sex. Internet pornography, fantastic. And it does nothing to teach men and boys about intimacy, which is really important. Well, I liken the penis to a plane. If the pilot can't get the plane up in the air and keep the plane in the air for the entire trip, there's probably a problem with the engine. So if you can't get your penis up and keep it up for the entire sexual experience, there's likely a problem with your engine. Well, that's your heart. Erectile dysfunction is the canary in the coal mine, and it may signify cardiovascular disease. It may also indicate diabetes. So these two medical conditions, in addition to low testosterone, stress, substance use and abuse, excessive alcohol consumption, unresolved conflict, financial issues, all of those may contribute to low sexual desire, and you may end up in a sexless marriage. Sex is the barometer of the state of affairs in a marriage. People who live in sexless marriages report feeling frustrated, unloved, undesirable, unattractive, and the worst of all, lonely. And loneliness has been shown to increase vascular resistance and elevate blood pressure and lead to an early death. You are more likely to die from loneliness than you are from obesity or excessive alcohol consumption. When I educate women and I say, if you're not having sex with your husband, someone else may, they get upset and they say that I'm blaming women for men's bad behavior, when in actuality, I'm doing a community service. You see, men in sexless marriages cheat to remain in that marriage in general, and women cheat to leave a sexless marriage. The gene DN4N has been isolated in cheaters, and the sexless marriage, just the environment to turn on that gene. It's based on a system of pleasure and reward. The stakes are high, the reward's substantial. It is the perfect cocktail to turn that love drug back on, PEA, and the cycle begins again. When does sex end? I'm here to tell you that sex never ends. If you're healthy, you can have a great sex life well into your 80s and 90s. Sex is good for you. Sex is healthy, yet sex is shrouded in shame. In the ancient aristocracies, the wealthy men had courtesans for pleasure and concubines for quick sex. In the way we're going, computers will be our concubines, internet pornography our mistress of the day. Technology is fast replacing human connection at high speed. So how do you rev up the sexless marriage? Sex is about blood flow, sexercise. Every day you want to have a daily workout. It increases your agility, your stamina. Women will experience more sexual sensation when blood is flowing to the genitalia. It also helps to treat erectile dysfunction. Also, get help for any of the sexual dysfunctions you may have. Vaginal dryness, it's an issue that happens to women who, have, who are on the oral contraceptive pill, who are breastfeeding, perimenopausal, postmenopausal, and there are treatments for you. Pay more attention to your spouse than you do your smartphone. Spend more time in your bedrooms than you do your boardrooms, or your bedrooms are going to become boardrooms.
deal with your marital issues. Go to sleep in the same bed at the same time and don't bring anything or anyone into your marriage. You must establish guidelines that govern those moments when you are struck by someone's attractiveness outside of your marriage. But don't think for a second that you have to have sex with the same person for the rest of your life. That's not what I mean. In your mind, that is. Fantasy is key. Your brain is your largest sex organ. No, I love you with or without the wig. It's just that right now I'd like you with the wig. Sure you would, because that way you can mess around with a different girl without cheating on your wife. <laughs> what a sickie. You're, you're calling me a sickie, boy? You're the sick one. You're jealous of your own wig. <laughs> <laughs>